Hi, I'm Cornelia McPherson. I've been a homeowner for 38 years in this West Philadelphia area. Rebuilding Together Philadelphia often uses volunteers to work in people's homes. To make sure that the homeowners and the volunteers have a good experience, I want to go over some do's and don'ts. When volunteers come into our neighborhood, we would like them to have a positive attitude and no preconceived notions of things they have seen or heard. I started volunteering with Rebuilding Together about 25 years ago. Every person here knows who their neighbor is, wants them to succeed, wants them to be helpful. Even though there's some homeowners here that we haven't worked on their house, they're out here helping. They're, it's, it's a community and, and they are all invested in each other here. I believe the volunteers should ask the homeowner when they enter into their home is any certain rules that they have that we should respect while we in their household. We have to respect the homeowners. This, this is their home. We're coming in there. We're, we're guests in their own home. We need to treat their homes just as we would treat our own, just as we would want guests to come in and treat our things. It makes the homeowner feel very special when a volunteer comes with joy and laughter and willingness to do things in their home. Especially when they have a nice smile on their face and they greet you with a smile, you feel special. Feel like you want it and something that they really want to do for you. Some organizations look at us and say, why should we help them? You know. Where's the need at for them? We, we could give this to people that's gonna take care of that stuff, not realizing that due to the social economic injustices, this is what's the cause of a lot of us not being able to afford the various things we need to do for our home, when we're, especially when we have families to care for. When a volunteer goes into a home, they should never make the person feel like they're judging them. Sometimes the homeowners try to explain the condition of the home or apologize for the way the home looks, but the volunteer should always say, we're not here to judge you, we're here to help you. I would tell a volunteer never to discuss the household that you worked in, whatever condition it was in, or the way the person looked when you went in there, or the living conditions. When families come together, it's much laughter, much love, much care in that home. And that's the kind of house that I lived in. We had always had love, plenty of food, even though the house may have needed some repairs. Um, you never knew it when you walked in there. Getting to see these homeowners and just seeing how they interact with their neighbors, a lot of them have been here their whole lives. Sometimes they've, they've raised their own families now on top of living in these homes and just seeing Seeing their expressions and, and their emotions after we get done is just, I love it. It's great. Thank you for watching this voluntary training video. We hope that the information you receive will help you show more love and compassion to the neighborhoods that we serve.